I'm Chris Avina with American Outdoor News, and welcome to another episode of the American Outdoor News podcast. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different, and I got to say, we know Tom Cruise had his cocktails and dreams. <laughs> My friend Gina Gehaldi, she has cocktails in hell. Jada, thank you so much for coming on. Chris, thank you so much for having me. This is so much fun. I'm so excited to connect with your listeners. Now, you, we met at the Fancy Food Show, and I, I think we really became fast friends. Without question. Yeah. You have such a unique product, and <laughs> it really goes with your personality. <laughs> <laughs> It, well, thank you. It's a switch. It's a switch from my prior career, for sure. Well, it's it's an exciting new product. You developed a line of drink mixers yep. called Cocktails in Hell. And you have a number of them. The ingredients are not what you would normally look for. And how did you come up with this whole concept and... <laughs> And this wonderful blend of flavors. Well, it's a two-part story. The first thing is where the idea came from. And then the second part is where the flavor profiles came from. So if, if I can take a minute, I'll tell my story, the Reader's Digest version. Absolutely. And this so, is uncensored. So say, say, <laughs> say it the way it is. <laughs> I will tell you the way it is. So I have been a divorce lawyer for decades and one day years ago, it was a Friday afternoon. It was 5 of 5. It's when we still got things by fax, right? And all of a sudden at 5 of 5, the fax machine starts buzzing. Papers are flying out and nothing good ever shows up at a divorce attorney's office at 5 of 5 on a Friday. So we run over and we look and it seems that this evil opposing counsel has filed this bogus motion for Monday morning. And I ran to the phone to call to stop service and the phone line was dead. So the phone line was dead. The fax machine is buzzing. And by the time on my cell phone, I got hold of the other attorney's office. It was after five o'clock. Service had been made and it meant that my whole office was going to be working all weekend. So my two associates sat down in front of me and they just looked at me and they said, this is hell. And they looked at me for inspiration. And what the hell inspiration did I have? I was going to have to work all weekend too, right? But I remember that a client had given me one of those plastic candy canes. This was after the holidays. Uh -huh. They had vodka nips in it. There so I know. opened up my desk drawer. I lined up the vodka nips and I looked at my staff and I said, okay, it is hell. Life is hell, but at least we can have cocktails in hell. And a little light bulb went off. And I bought the domain name and I knew the day would come someday where I was going to bring that <laughs> to life as an exit strategy from being an attorney. So fast forward, I go through the hell of my own divorce years later, my kids are launched and I'm like, now's the time. So I started with the concept of what is cocktails and hell going to be? Well, it's got to be drink mixers, right? Absolutely. So my daughter, who was, you know, kind of ticked off at me for having divorced her dad, is home for the summer, and I decided to do a bonding experience. I said, we're going to make cocktail mixers. That caught her attention. So we took all these natural <laughs> ingredients. We boiled them up in what I called my chick pad apartment because I had never lived alone. I got married really young. So we're in the chick pad apartment. We're boiling up teas, and we came up with these really unique flavor profiles but what to do with them? So I networked my way. I found an award-winning food technician out in California, Brian. He took me under his wing and he helped me take our ideas and make them into all natural formulations that we now make at a co-packer up in Maine. And so our flavor profiles are literally the result of my daughter and I playing around and, uh, and I'd be happy to talk about what they are. And you can tell me which one of them is your favorite. Well, I tell you, uh, I did polish off the uh, margarita <laughs> mix pretty quick, uh, sitting job. poolside this summer. Excellent. Uh, and oh, what was the lemon one? Um, Badass lemon. Badass lemon. I had Badass that with, lemon. I had that with some uh, Maker's Mark. Oh, nice, nice. Well, I have to say, 
once we came up with the formulations, it was a matter of figuring out what they paired with. So I was literally up at the co-packer with my designated driver and up on the website, you actually can find a picture of me there. I, I actually photoshopped out the Tito's bottle, the Casa Amigos bottle, you know, all the bottles I had. Yeah. But as we were doing the testing, I had to make sure that they all went with my favorite spirits. So, so the flavor profiles, the margarita from heaven that you referenced, it's infused with natural rose water. And it gives it a very unique but subtle difference. And you're not going to find anything else like it on the market. It's true. So, it gave a very distinct taste. Mm -hmm. So the margarita from heaven is infused with luscious rose water. Cosmo in hell is made with hibiscus in it. Margarita from heaven I told you about. Um, grapefruit with an attitude. And I have to say, I had fun naming these drinks. As you can tell, this was all in fun. Grapefruit with an attitude is made with cardamom and badass lemon has a little bit of ginger in it. We also have two purest flavors. They're special edition. One is a buzzed bee's knees. And it's really just the perfect blend of honey and lemon to make either a bee's knees cocktail or a hot toddy or to put it in some whiskey or bourbon. And we also have an edgy espresso and it's a syrup. And it's literally made with organic coffee and pure cane sugar. And one tablespoon of that to two ounces of vodka. And you've got an amazing espresso martini. Clean, pure, easy to make. I've been saving this one for a special occasion. So Every day is a special occasion, Chris. It is. My life is a special occasion. <laughs> Your life is exactly. <laughs> So those are the flavor profiles. But what we did is we made sure with these mixes that all you have to do is add one spirit. Okay. It's easy. Mixer, spirit, ice, you're done. And so for instance, in the Cosmo, typically people add vodka and triple sec, but I built into the Cosmo, the flavor profile of triple sec. So it has the orange pill in there. It actually has a little touch of clove to give it that earthy flavor of triple sec. So all you need to do is add the vodka. Okay, so let's say Cosmo and Hell are making a, a Cosmo. How much of the mixer do I put in? So we recommend a one-to-one -one ratio. So each one of those little bottles will make five plus full-size cocktails. So we start off with one-on-one, -on -one, but the beautiful thing is because they're non-alcoholic mixers, you can do it to taste. You can do it with club soda and make uh -huh. a nice mocktail. That Cosmo and Hell goes beautifully with pomegranate seltzer. Just uh -huh. phenomenal. So you're entertaining, right? Chris, you're having your friends over. You're around your fire pit. You just pull out the bottles. You pull out a little cocktail shaker and some spirits and some club soda. People are set. They can make it the way they like it. Well, I, I, I see them making any gathering into a party. A, a party. I like to think of it as an event. It becomes an event with very little effort. And makes an event into a banquet. Oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Because now look at all the amazing recipes you come up with, right? You come up with some amazing things. You tell me what kinds of things are your favorite that would pair well with some of these. Or throw out a dish and I'll tell you what pairs well. Well, I I make martinis with tequila. Mm -hmm. So we could use the Cosmo and Hell with tequila. Yeah, uh, we can also make the uh, uh, tequila espresso martini. You can. That's the hot craze now is the espresso tequila martini. Absolutely. It works well with that. And you know what else makes a phenomenal um, tequila drink is the grapefruit with an attitude. Uh, you know, I, I really like that one. Um, yep. That's the one you introduced me to at the at the fancy food show. Yes. And and it really made an impression. So, it's very unique. So let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. What sets you apart from other mixers? So I think what sets us apart, first of all, there are other mixers out there that are all natural. And we all, we're all natural. We're made in small batches. We're made up in Vermont. We're made in small batches. So you really have the craftsmanship and you really have some 
unique infusions of these different flavors. So you're not going to find out there a grapefruit with pink grapefruit, some orange and some cardamom. You're not going to see that. And you're not going to find a, um, a margarita that has rose water in it. So I think what's really unique is that we have taken a special flavor and we've infused it into the classic cocktails. So it's something a little different, but it's so it's not so off the wall that you're sitting there with puckered lips saying, what is this combination? We really did a lot of testing and, and we really found the flavors that worked. But I think something that also differentiates us, yes, we're phenomenal mixers. Yes, we're small batch. Yes, we're different flavors and, and takes on your classic cocktail. But we've got a heart, a soul, and a mission. And, and this was something that was so important to me. And that is our mission is to help people reclaim their spirit. One luscious cocktail or mocktail at a time. And it's a feeling. It's not about drinking. It's not about the alcohol because these can be made into mocktails. But it's remembering no matter what hell is in your everyday life, and I'm not talking about the big things. There are big things that, you know, nothing's going to fix. But I'm talking about the hell of everyday life, right? Sure. You're there. You're sitting in traffic. You're trying to get home. You're tired. You're cranky. You just think about, ah, there's a cocktail or mocktail in hell waiting for me at home. And just that thought of taking a shaker, some ice, mixing it up, ah, the tension relieves. You've got screaming kids in the background. Ah, You know what? You can make yourself a mocktail on the spot, no matter yep. what you're doing. So it's it's about that feeling and about that kind of community. To remember, we've got to laugh. I mean, no matter what's going on, just keep that sense of humor. Well, life is short. Uh, these definitely are exciting. It brings a Thank little you. excitement into your life. The infusion of flavors are outstanding. Uh, Thank you. And. Yeah, I, I would love to see you out front in some uh, online commercials because <laughs> you're the face of the product and you designed it, you invented it, yep. you did some serious uh, mixology and a lot of homework to, to infuse not so common flavors into everyday cocktails. Well, it you know, it was a, a passion venture it continues to be something I'm very passionate about. And if it brings people happiness and fun, then I've accomplished what I've set out to do, have some really kick-ass mixers that make people happy. And uh, I'm excited to say we just got our wholesale license. So now we're ready to move up to the big leagues. We sell online. We sell at local markets in Boston. Um, but now we're going to be branching out. And the goal is to get into stores. So for all of your listeners, if you follow us on Instagram, it helps us because it shows the visibility. So as I go knocking on these retailers' doors, I can show that we've got the following with people who are awesome like you, Chris. Well, you know, I I, I see this and I see tremendous possibilities. And, and we've already discussed this. Now, if you're holding an event and you want to stand out, you can have a signature cocktail handed out to people as oh, they yeah. walk in using the Cosmo from Hell or the Grapefruit with an Attitude. Something that's going to make it memorable when people yeah. walk in the door and they say, wow, this is great. This is going to be a good party. Absolutely. And, you know, corporate events, these are great for corporate events, too, because you're always looking for swag to give or something. You can have people coming into your corporate event, right? You're serving them the cocktail. You're putting one of the little bottles in and the bottles aren't that small. They're actually eight ounce bottles. You're putting them in the swag bag. Um, we just got actually picked up by a caterer, just a local caterer here who happened to try them. And they are phenomenal for weddings and things of that nature because caterers hate to have to make the signature cocktails. It's a lot of work. And, and these are so unique and they are so fun. And what better for a wedding than a margarita from heaven, right? Absolutely. Hey, I, I've attended a lot of events. Um where um, liquor companies like Makers or Tito's, they're there handing out, you know, try Tito's. And yep. it's all pre-mixed drinks. And this would pair well with some, some Tito's right now. 
Uh, right? Right. I know. It's always in the back of my mind. Like, what kind of cocktail might it be or mocktail tonight? Well, you know what's perfect, too, is if you go to our website, we've created a chart. So it shows you which suggested spirits we recommend with each of the cocktail mixers. So we make it really easy for you. You can go right to the website. There's a chart and it will show you, for instance, the Badass Lemon. The Badass Lemon goes with everything. Everything from a mocktail, every kind of spirit you can imagine. Yep. And you it's really interesting to see. And this has been based not only on our own testing, but the feedback of our customers who have said, you know what? I took some Cosmo and I put it in rum and it was amazing. And I wouldn't have thought of that. So up on the chart, there we go. We've got it. People are making mimosas out of the grapefruit with an attitude. What a fun twist, right? Yeah, Absolutely. It's uh, it's something with endless possibilities, and I'm thrilled about the product. Uh, I like working with you, and um, th there's just so much more to come. I know the six signature flavors that you started with is only the beginning. Uh, <laughs> you you got a great imagination, and uh, uh, you're working with an amazing mixologist that uh, helps you create these things. Yep, yep, but they all start in the kitchen. They all started in the kitchen, and that's important to remember. And you have a lot of scotch and bourbon and, and whiskey drinkers, right? Yes, I do. So let me make a couple of recommendations for them, if I might. So the Bee's Knees, of course, is a perfect blend of lemon and honey. Easy, automatic fit when you plug it into the bourbon or the scotch. Um, the Badass Lemon also, it's got a very different flavor profile than the Bee's Knees with the honey yep. and the lemon because this is a lemon with a little bit of ginger. So it makes more of a bright, fresh drink with the other ones more of one of those heavy, solid kind of, you know, bourbon drinks you're used to. But if you want to get creative and you want to make things easy, take your bourbon, add a little bit of the grapefruit with an attitude, a Luxardo cherry and a drop or two of the Luxardo cherry juice, and you've got your own badass version of an old-fashioned. It's a different taste, but ah. it's delicious. Yeah, and right. my fiancé is actually the one who came up with that because he's an old-fashioned guy. And I'm like, let's play around here. And that's how we came up with that. So easy and delicious. Well, I'm going to have to bring that up to Deer Camp because... After a hard day in the woods, we've been trading off different uh, old-fashioned recipes. Everybody takes go. a turn making an old-fashioned, and everybody makes it a little bit different. Some are smoked, some are flavored. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this will add a, a really nice uh, twist to it. That's exactly it. You know what? Again, it's a spirited take on your classic cocktails. That's the way to look at it. While you're reclaiming your spirit, it's all about your spirit. So you had mentioned uh, gift sets. Yes, yes. So we happen to be recording now during the holiday season, but people will be listening to this. We have gift sets that are specifically for the holidays, but we have gift sets year round. And what better thing than to send a friend or a family member a packaged gift set that's got these cocktails and hell mixers. Some of them have a shaker. We wrap them up beautifully and we will ship them out with a personalized card from from you. So it's a it's a no brainer gift for the holidays, but it's a no brainer gift any time of year. So yeah. give it away. And so yeah, we've got all of those on the website. We have new ones coming out on the website too. Um, they're always changing up. And by request, we've come up with a little bit of fun merchandise because you know cocktails and hell is. It's, it's a feeling. It's not just the cocktails or the mocktails. So we've got some fun merchandise that's coming up that's going to be up on the website, too, just to add to the fun. So where do we find you? You go to cocktailsinhell.com. From there, you will see it all. It'll link you to our Facebook, to our Instagram. You'll be able to order the gift sets. You can contact me personally and email me if you have any questions or you're interested in wholesale just reach out at Gina at cocktailsinhell.com. I'm always available because this is so much fun. Way better than divorcing people. It is. And I'm working <laughs> my way through the uh, through all the sets that you sent me. 
And once those are done, I'm looking forward to the next batch of flavors that you're working on. I know you have something formulating in your head right now. Could be, could be. <laughs> There's always something going on in there. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, well, my daughter's coming back for the holiday, so she and I'll have to head back to the kitchen. It's a bigger kitchen now because now I'm getting married. It's a whole different life, which is another thing, right? Reclaim your spirit. You don't know what kind of good things can come into your life when you keep that upper sense of humor and vibration. So, yeah, we might be cooking up a couple of new cocktail recipes. I'm looking forward to it. Well, like I said, with the holiday season approaching, uh, pick some of this up for your holiday get-togethers. And you're going to make it a memorable occasion with you know, Absolutely. cocktails and hell. Especially now because it's not in the stores yet because we just got the wholesale license. So I guarantee you send or bring a gift or have an occasion with a cocktails, hell and mixer, cocktails and hell mixer. It's going to be a unique experience. It's going to be an event. Nobody else will be duplicating. All right. I appreciate you taking the time speaking to us today, Gina. I'm really excited to make my way through the rest of the pack that I have here, and uh, I will be sure to give you a full report. Uh, I can't say that it'll be legible, but. <laughs> <laughs> I just wish we lived closer, Chris, so that when I see all the amazing food you've made and posted, I could just come over with a mixer and like a Tupperware container, right? That I'll would be a perfect world. Then I'll, it would be perfect. I'll bring the food, you bring the drink. <laughs> You've got it. It's a deal. All right. We'll set a party. We'll have an event, Chris. That works for me. All right. Listen, thank you so much for having me. And thank you for your listeners. Um, you've got great people. And it's really an honor to be here. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Cheers.